I am currently in Oaxaca on the southwest of Mexico and on my right is currently a squirrel on my left in these mangroves I've seen some crocodiles and this afternoon I'm going on a boat trip into the mangroves so I'm hoping to find various wildlife to photograph it is hot I'm sweaty but we'll see what we find today This is Ventania, a small village on the coast of Oaxaca. It's a special spot for ecotourism and wildlife. And 10 minutes of walking from the village led me to wildlife I've never seen before. Although this white arbis is only a juvenile, it is already a skilled crab hunter. When this bird reaches adulthood, its feathers will be completely white. I'm walking alongside the mangroves and I've already spotted three baby crocodiles and they're up ahead of me. I'm going to approach quite slowly and see if I can get some shots of them. But I've seen other people walk past them and they don't seem very bothered. I didn't spot these young crocodiles immediately. They blend in so well to the background. Even though these are youngsters, they are still very impressive. After spending a few minutes with them, I slowly crawled back and left them how I found them. A further walk along the mangroves led me to this cafe shop where I had a fresh coconut to drink and the owner told me about the friendly female crocodile. I thought it was a load of rubbish until I watched a guide take Taurus right up to this crocodile and hand feed her a fish. I have personal rules with wildlife, I never touch and I never hand feed. After watching multiple guides approach this crocodile, I decided to walk slowly, keeping a six meter distance, and I used a teleconverter on my lens to get close up shots. The cafe behind me was closer to me than I was to the crocodile. Even the vultures didn't want to get too close. After all that excitement, I headed back to the town for a Tlayuda. Now, I know this looks like something a dog would barf up, but it's a mix of local cheese, refried beans, nepales, which is a cactus, and spicy salsas. Paired with a fresh piña colada, it was perfect. After an hour in the town, it was time to go on a boat through the mangroves. It was incredible to slowly move through this ecosystem. The wildlife are very used to the boats and we were able to get very close to these Mesoamerican slider turtles. I tried to avoid the heat of the day, but it was still so hot and bright, which made photography very difficult. And then we spotted the first swimming crocodile. They swing their large muscular tail side to side to move through the water.
after getting some shots of the crocodiles with my camera. I then took off the drone to see the crocodiles from above. The crocodiles were completely unbothered by the drone until they felt the ripples on the water. Flying the drone really shows off this incredible ecosystem. Mangroves are beautiful and complex. This is where fresh water meets ocean water. Mangroves provide protection from coastal storms and a safe place for so much wildlife. They also are a carbon sink, storing carbon from the atmosphere into the soil beneath the mangroves. The boat arrived to a small island, which was a sunbathing paradise for these crocodiles. There's also a sturdy gate to boost your confidence. Even the iguanas were sitting around relaxing. There was also several stunningly vibrant green iguanas here. And they were happily sitting next to various crocodiles unfazed. They just seemed to be living in a happy, harmonious life. The island also had a pair of rescued baby coatis. They were very curious and busy exploring. Oi. Apparently they have rehabilitated and successfully released several coatis into the wild. After a walk, I sent off my drone up into the air to get another look at the mangroves. Minutes into the flight, I received a warning and part of the gimbal that holds the drone had snapped. No more Toto. The following day, it was a beach day in Mazunte and it didn't take me long to find urban wildlife. And so I started to walk around to see what else I could find. The first species was this golden-cheeked woodpecker. Grackles are a common and noisy sight across Mexico. Then I found something very exciting. I don't usually get excited over birds, but this bird made me take 400 photos in 15 minutes. This is the russet crowned motmot. -mot. This is a bird I had read a lot about when I studied zoology. It was really, really hot, and I was ready to swim in the sea. But on the way back, I was very surprised to meet this animal. I think they follow me. This is the Mexican grey squirrel. The Mexican grey squirrel is a tree squirrel native to Guatemala and eastern and southern Mexico. Their coloration is quite unique, with a light grey coat and a red belly. 
They are larger than red squirrels and can weigh up to 660 grams and they lack ear tufts. Since these squirrels live in the tropics, their diet mostly consists of fruit. That evening I used some super glue and managed to fix my drone. Unfortunately, I think this means the warranty is terminated, but I didn't want to miss these shots. I was hoping to stay in Oaxaca for longer but travel complications prevented this. I'm super excited for my next trip to Cancun, which will definitely not be cut short. Thank you to my incredible patrons for supporting me so I can make content like this, and thank you for watching.